Jerry, let's talk for a few minutes about uh, ultra hazardous activities. Okay. You might touch, touch base on that. Well, and actually we had um, a couple cases that have came in. Uh, one was in regards to a hayride. Uh, we did have a church that had a hayride and uh, was not a planned activity of the church, but uh, some of the church volunteers decided uh, they were at the camp. Let's hire the next door neighbor to do a hayride. And while they were doing the hayride, a couple individuals fell off the wagon. Well, didn't it kind of go in a rut? It did. Actually, it hit the side of the road, which caused the back wheel to, to drop down. And when that happened, it, it plopped them off. Um, the individual that was, had the hayride actually had the minimum state limits for the claim, for which was $25,000 yeah. here in the state of Missouri. The claim was over $400,000. Fortunately, the church came in and was able to, we were able to cover the church, and the church was, had liability insurance for the additional amount. But because of what happened, the church was held liable for this, even though there was a, a total third party driving the vehicle and, and that was responsible for the hayride. Let's talk about one more ultra hazardous activity, maybe two. Okay. How about pyrotechnics? You know, r replicating the gunfight at the OK Corral in the church parking lot, uh, or the Battle of Iwo Jima <laughs> with explosives. Uh, I've seen these things happen. I just, I can't believe it. What about uh, rope repelling? Can you believe that? Ten-year-old kids going down 100-foot cliffs with a rope? Aye, aye, aye. I mean, I, and, uh, it happened in my church, and a rope broke, and the kid fell about 80 feet onto rocks at the bottom, and he got up unscathed. His mother said, I believe it was a miracle. <laughs> I believe it is. So, uh, you know, why send kids over a cliff with, uh, you know, 10-year-old boys? Or how about this? Boy, how many claims have we seen for this? Trampolines. Mm. Yes, the kids want trampolines. They want to play on trampolines. The risk is, look at the American Medical Association this week, Jerry, yeah. recommended that whatever benefit you get from trampoline use, it's outweighed by the risks. There are humongous risks associated with trampolines. You get kids go to a, a church member's home for a, a, a sanctioned youth activity, and they see a trampoline in the backyard. It's like a magnet. The kids are back there before you can even stop them, and there's 15 of them on that thing jumping up and down. They don't know what they're doing. They're untrained. There's nobody supervising, and one of them hits his head on the rim, and he becomes a quadriplegic for life at age 10. I am sick and tired of seeing those claims. Trampolines, in my opinion, are another example of a hazardous activity.